front of us is a cuvette with water, which reflects the light of an incandescent light bulb. A bright reflection makes it difficult to see what lies at the bottom of the cuvette. But let's look at the same picture through a polarizing filter. If you turn it at a particular angle, the reflected light of the lamp goes out and objects lying at the bottom become visible. The thing is that light reflected at an angle to the surface of the water is fully polarized and therefore it can be cut off using a polarizer. Let's see why this happens. Let the light fall onto a smooth surface of a transparent material at such an angle alpha that the reflected and refracted rays form a right angle between them. If the incident light is polarized in the vertical plane, the refracted beam is also polarized in the vertical plane. Electrons in the medium oscillate across the direction of the refracted ray and thus along the direction of the reflected ray. Therefore, the re-emission of reflected light is completely suppressed. The angle of incidence at which this suppression occurs is called Brewster's angle. For water it is 53 degrees. Light rays reflected at Brewster's angle are completely polarized parallel to the reflecting surface and they can be cut off by a polarizing filter. Now we understand why bait shops sell polarizing glasses. They reduce glare and allow fishermen to see what is happening underwater. A driver can also use these glasses to reduce the glare of the windscreen. Polarizing filters are used by photographers to eliminate glare from water and other reflective surfaces. But that's not all. Polarizing filters in photography are associated with another important and interesting effect. Let's point the camera at the blue sky and put a polarizing filter in front of its lens. When the filter rotates, the color of the sky changes a lot and it can turn a deep blue. This means that the blue color of the sky is polarized and the filter cuts off some of the light rays. The sky is blue and not black during the daytime because the air scatters the light coming from the sun and short-wave blue radiation is scattered more strongly than any other kind. This scattering was first described by a British physicist Lord Rayleigh, so it is called Rayleigh scattering. Oscillations of scattering particles occur in a plane perpendicular to the direction of the rays coming from the sun. Therefore, the scattered rays are polarized in the same plane, which can be detected using a polarizing light filter. In the Icelandic sagas, it is said that Vikings, who sailed in the northern seas, could use a special sunstone to determine the position of the low sun, even when it was hidden behind a haze. We don't know exactly how they did it. But perhaps these stories led to the invention of an astrocompass with polarizing filters by which pilots in polar latitudes could determine the sunward direction at dusk or when it is covered with clouds.